Hi everyone, this is Felicia with FP Handmade and I have a craft haul video for you and also a card share video. So let's get started. So I went to Michael's, um, no scratch that, I went to uh, Joann's and they had their paper on sale for, um, I think it was 10 sheets for $2, which is pretty good. Um, and I needed some paper, so uh, this is all the paper I bought from Joann's. I use a lot of paper because I make banners and, and uh, other things uh, besides cards. So that was my giant paper haul from Joann's. And then Joann's also had um, a huge sale on their buttercream items. So I was able to get some washi tape. And it says it was by Scotch, but um, it was considered the Bubber Cream Collection. So I got that one. And I got two of this one. And let's see. And then I got three of this one. Two of this one. And this one. And this one, this is um, actually fabric tape, so I'm going to see how that works. This was um, all 80% off. Then I was able to pick up these decorations, the honeycomb garland. I think those would be cute. I got two packs of those. And then they had this decoupage paper. So I thought it was really pretty. So I bought two of those. And then they had these uh, treat cups, which I always like to have these around when companies over the chip, you know, crackers, put things like that in them. So I got two of those. And then I bought these uh, white set of paintbrushes. So I got all that. So those were all 80% 80 off. The washi tape, I think, was like, oh, excuse me, something like 74 cent, um, really inexpensive. And so that's why I was able to pick up so many rolls. And I picked up some for a friend. So that was Joanne. And then I went to my local craft store because they always have something interesting there. And they had the Graphic 45 Safari Adventure Collection. So you can buy individual sheets, which I love. So I got this sheet, which is really, really pretty. And these cut apart. Look at how pretty the pictures are. The animals. I love that one. So I got um, one sheet of that. And then I got this um, sheet that has the same design. And then I also bought the Safari Adventure Collection journaling and ephemera card. So, I don't know. I just really like this collection. So I got that. And then I also got some really pretty blue paper. I don't know if the camera can really do it justice. It's so pretty. It looks like linen. I, I love the paper they have there. Whenever you need some specialty paper, I always go to the my um, local craft store and then I ordered um, a kit off of HSN and it was called uh, Do Crafts Paper Mania Mr. Mr. Set and these were part of the stickers that you got I mean the um, stamps were and you got this really cute mini stamp looks like a, a crossroad crossword puzzle and let's see that was all from there and then I went to Hobby Lobby to get a few things that I needed so I was making a retirement card and man it's really hard finding stuff that says retirement but I found these poems for a page um, just write stickers for scrapbooking and more so it had some cute sentiments on it then I picked up this camel hair value pack of um, stamps and it says it's for watercolor, acrylic oil, temperas, enamels, and steam. So let's try those out. 
And then I bought me a little jewelry making cutter to cut my dies apart. It's real tiny. I don't know what's going on with my light tonight. It's much dark in here. And then I bought this little um, wing that I'm going to use in a card. I'm going to show you the card in a minute. I'm not completely finished with it. And then I bought my fine line applicator, which broke this weekend, so I needed a new one. I used this with my um, art glitter glue. I just love this. And then they had these little Hello Kitty stickers that were marked down, and who doesn't like Hello Kitty? So that was all from Hobby Lobby, a small haul from Hobby Lobby. And then I um, also uh, ordered some die cuts off of HSN, um, the Anna Griffin floral die cuts. And this is what you receive, plus the green um, rubber mat. And um, these are really pretty. These are the flowers, how they cut out, so you get that dimension. I really didn't pick good colors just to test these out for you guys, but here's what they look like. Really pretty. So that was from HSN. And then my big purchase uh, was the Tim Holtz Distri Distress Inks, the little minis. I bought the 10 to go with them, so I got that col those colors. And I got those colors, the tin, and these, and all those colors, and I got those colors, and then I got these. So I, um, I think I got all that they had on Joanne's website. All the sets that they had, they were all marked down pretty cheap, so I was happy to get all of those, so can't wait to start using them. I want to try a different type of, uh, instead of using so many die cuts, I want to paint or watercolor. So the card share that I have for you was this first one. Um, this card was a mistake. So I initially made this card for retirement, and I was going to say happy retirement. But then I realized I didn't have a retirement stamp, and apparently no one in the area has retirement stamps. <laughs> so I just uh, used a stamp that I already had that said, Be Happy, it, you know, Your Birthday. And that was from um, Simon Said Stamps. It's called Happy and Smiles. And then this uh, die set that I used the balloon in the clouds was Blue Skies by Lon Fawn. So. I mean, it's kind of little, but hey, I'm going with it. And then here's another card that I made. And this one is uh, uh, congrats for retirement. And it has the wings on it with the, the pretty flowers. This was cut from my Cricut. And this was a, um, I think it's Hero Arts uh, die set. And the flowers, I'm not sure. I just had them in my stash. And then in this card is a thank you card. And uh, I used the Anna Griffin 6x6 paper pad. I think it's pretty paper. And I used a... The thanks is from my Mama Elephant. And I cut like three of them just to give them some dimension. And then the I uh, used the Avery L dotted dies to cut that uh, border. I think it turned out pretty cute. I'm not sure the bow was just for my stash. I think it's bow bunny. I'm not sure. And then the next card was another congrats card. And uh, this one is um, I used some timeless frames by Altenu. And then that's the uh, rose from the Anna Griffin die set and the leaves. And I think they're called floral cuttings. I used uh, Stampin' Up! embossing powder to stamp the congratulations, which I think is from Avery L. 
And that uh, Stampin' Up! and Stampin' Boss, I think that's what it's called, Crush Curry, it really embosses really pretty. I'm gonna have to give me some more embossing powder from Stampin' Up! because I really like this. This card is, um, it's kind of inspired by, I can't figure of her name, she does cards online all the time. Um, I have to, I can't think of her name, I apologize. But uh, I just love her cards, so I kind of tried to do a card like she did, and I think it turned out okay. And this is a card that, a simple card that I made from that Mr. Mister stamp from um, HSN, the stamp set, and the paper. This is just the paper. I just cut those letters from uh, my Cricut. And this is just the dad card. It could be birthday, Father's Day. I just wanted to use the paper. Um, here's another one. I haven't qu quite come finished this one and this had some awfully cute paper included in that set and I think that's it for today so thanks guys for watching and I hope you have an awesome day and if you haven't subscribed please subscribe and see you later bye